this video is going to be a little bit different than what I typically make on my channel, but whatever I seen in this video was kind of hard for me not to want to cover it. It's 2023 by now. I'm sure you've seen a couple prank channels. I know you've seen at least a prank channel or two where they go around assaulting people for prank content, allegedly prank content. It's not really a prank to go around and physically harm anybody, but you know, degeneracy is just what 2023 came to. I don't know if you guys remember the bucket challenge that people were doing where they'd approach people in like a Home Depot or somewhere of the sort and they'd take a bucket and literally throw it over somebody's head and then put one on their head and act like, oh, like who the hell just randomly came up to us and threw a bucket on her head? But then they'd end up getting called out for it and then cops would show up and arrest them. And rightfully so, because again, you can't just run around and put your hands on people and then say, it's okay to do that just because you're filming it. It's just a prank. By no means is that a prank, but anyways, who would have thought the police officers would hop on this bandwagon of physically assaulting civilians that they took an oath under the Constitution to serve and protect? You're probably thinking, what kind of prank do these police officers partake in? Was it the bucket prank video where they go around throwing buckets on people? Was it, did they put a donut on a fishing hook and then try to lure in other officers? No, that's not the case. They went around buying different drinks from 7-Eleven and chick-fil-a just certain fast food beverages and then they'd throw it on innocent civilians just trying to get to and from work or just walking down the sidewalk just to put it into a little bit more context as well christmas just passed it is winter time which means it is cold out it's very cold out i'm sure the last thing that you would want to be thrown on you while you're commuting to and from work walking in the cold is another ice cold beverage you might be thinking, what idiots did they not turn off their body camera while they went around literally assaulting innocent people? No, it's not that they didn't get caught on their body camera. It's the fact that they filmed it on their cell phone because they thought it was a funny prank. With that being said, buckle up, you guys, because it is the law. And let's take a look at these quirky officers' shenanigans. Hey, baby, you got change for a dollar? How about a drink? I might, you might even get to just stop. The rolling? Yeah. Up against the building. You don't miss. Oh, wow. 10 out of 10 A-plus dudes, like really stand-up guys, just quirky comrades at its best. I've never seen anybody throw a drink on somebody as a prank or to get laughter. Nobody is going around throwing drinks in people's faces just to get a rise. It's not funny. So the fact that they're going around doing this thinking it's a prank, the only times I've ever seen people get drinks thrown on them is whenever they're A, getting into a fight or B, initiating a fight. The disservice of these gentlemen that they did to not only their department, but to the police officers in general by going around doing this little stunt. I don't know what they thought they were going to gain from it, but I will tell you what happened. They ended up losing their jobs and getting actual prison time for this. Now, it's not like they just did it one or two times. And even if they did just do it one or two times, that's still not excusable at all. That's very inexcusable and disgusting behavior by two government people they're two police officers but they rode around doing these shenanigans all night long in their undercover police vehicle even covering their badge whenever they would go to throw these drinks so i guess nobody could turn them in but the thing about it is one they didn't get caught on their badge cameras doing this again they filmed it on the cell phone because it was such a quirky prank honestly despicable behavior but surely the other officers aren't like that right surely the other officers who work for the same department don't partake in nuisance behavior but that could be incorrect because here these officers actually would share these cell phone videos that they would take actually harassing innocent pedestrians and share them amongst the officers as a practical joke, just an inside joke amongst the officers. They would even call on the radio and say that the people were thirsty or scream thirsty fam. Just telling them like, hey, yeah, I'm throwing drinks on people. They were thirsty and nobody did anything about this. What <laughs> <laughs> I like how at the very beginning of this little prank here, the officer said, you know, I hope I don't get shot, which honestly, if somebody was to get assaulted, 
something thrown at them and they would retaliate. No, I don't think, one, they should be shooting anybody because somebody threw a drink at them. But they could initiate some form of self-defense. And who knows? It could have ended badly for the officers because they were the one initiating the assault. They were also in an unmarked vehicle, so it's not like they were driving around their police unit doing this. It was an unmarked vehicle. But then whenever they would throw the drinks out the window in order to remain completely anonymous, they would use their hands to cover their badges and any type of police markings. Where you went on that? Oh, dude, this is so good. He's going to see it coming to him. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> So here they are chatting it up, just laughing it up. It's so funny to them that they're running around on the clock, just, you know, harassing pedestrians again. But the thing about this is that this poor guy was just on a bike. And is, as you can tell, it's early morning now. They spent all night doing this in their uniforms, in their unmarked police vehicle, wasting city resources, time and money. Just driving around, throwing drinks on innocent people, just trying to get to and from, probably getting off their jobs late at night, just trying to walk back home so they can enjoy a meal and take a shower and just go to bed peacefully and they get a drink thrown on them. Now, it's early in the morning and people are probably going to work. That poor guy on the bicycle is probably just trying to go to his 9-to-5 job that he uses to probably barely get by and scrape by 2023. And now he has police officers throwing cold beverages on him while he's trying to bike to work. Not all police officers are bad, I will say this, but these two guys, they really do injustice for the badge. That's the fam! He's really giving me neon vibes, just real real belligerent real nuisance like literally drove by and said thirsty fam and threw a drink on her poor girl literally i hope these people who had drinks thrown on them find this video and take action against these police officers although they don't probably wouldn't need it at this point because they've all been let go from their jobs they've been relieved and sent to prison as i said they were issued community service time and they both had multiple charges filed on them I'm telling you, it's like watching TikTokers in the wild, just how these cops are behaving in public right now. I feel like with the arise of these prank, if you want to call them prank channels, that all these nuisance people who are just popping about nowadays, I don't know where the hell they're coming from. They're just coming out of the woodwork. See how these people who are literally taking TVs into Walmart and then smashing it and saying, oh, no, it's just a prank. It's my TV that I brought in here to smash. Uh, I don't know. All these prank channels that are coming about with these really dumb, lame bullshit pranks. I feel like if 2023 has taught me anything, it is to equip a GoPro to my forehead at all times so that if anything does happen to me, like say somebody wants to throw a bucket over my head because it is a TikTok prank or somebody wants to come up and harass me in public because <laughs> it's a TikTok prank or if an officer wants to throw a drink on me because he's bored and it's a TikTok prank, I'll have that evidence. <laughs> I missed him. <laughs> well, you know, they're really chuckling away. It seems like they truly enjoyed their last minutes on duty. I am so happy that they got busted for this, and rightfully so. I am glad that they did do some time over this. Maybe they can reevaluate all their decisions with the people that they threw behind bars. Maybe they can learn something from those genuine souls. With that being said, let me know if you guys think that this was too far that the officers had done this. Let me know if you do agree with me in the fact that they did deserve jail time over this, and let me know what charges that you think that they got now lackluster did post this video originally this was my reaction to it so feel free to check out lackluster that is his channel name and he did go into the officers names and what charges were filed on them with that being said let me know your thoughts on this situation in the comments and i'll catch you in the next video